everybody. Welcome to Daily Inspirations. My name is Michelle Dawn and today I am doing a plan with me in my Villa Beautiful Aligned Vertical Planner with Planny Things Spring Florals. Thank you for watching. For today's voiceover, I will be reading from nationaltoday.com and I am reading about National Poetry Month, which is April. And I happen to be a huge fan of poetry. I am going to do two videos with National Poetry Month voiceover. This one will be the history and facts about um, National Poetry Month. And the next one will be, I will read some poetry. Some of my own and some of somebody else's. So, here we go. Nationaltoday.com has this to say about National Poetry Month. Oh, I also wanted to tell you about my spread. The sticker I am placing right now is from the Girl Power Kit from Villa Beautiful. The Let Go and Grow sticker that I cut in half and put at the bottom is from Happy Planner. And the Washi is from Villa Beautiful. There will be a couple of more stickers from the Goal Getter Kit from Villa Beautiful, and the rest will be from Planning Things Spring Florals sticker book. And just a reminder, I do voiceovers because I cannot, my brain doesn't function in the way that it needs to in order to do a planning session and talk at the same time. I can't, <laughs> I can't do two things at once anymore. Um, due to neurological issues. I also don't edit my voiceover. I just have to keep going because if I tried to make it perfect, I would be here forever <laughs> because just it's not going to happen without incident. All right, here we go. Nationaltoday.com. National Poetry Month, April, is a marvelous opportunity to celebrate the expressiveness, delight, and pure charm of poetry. It is a special occasion that reminds us of the integral role of poets and poetry in our cultures. Poetry helps us appreciate the world around us and empathize with one another. Typically, we think of poetry as boring and nerdy, but this month allows us to change our perspectives and look upon poetry as a rhythmic art of expressing one's love and thoughts. Oh, I did forget to tell you that those um, ink underlays that I'm placing now are from Girl Boss Anna, and those are from the blush collection of her ink collections. History of National Poetry Month, back to nationaltoday.com. The success of Black History Month in February and Women's History Month in March led to the initiation of National Poetry Month in April by the Academy of American Poets. The first ever National Poetry Month was celebrated in 1996, but the history of poetry itself goes back to about thousands of years ago. I thought it was going to say about a thousand years ago, but it says back to about thousands of years ago. That was a little tricky for me to say. Dating back to 2100 BC or 21 BC, 2100 BC, the epic of Gilgamesh is cited as the first ever written piece of poetry, which tells an epic tale of a hero in ancient Mesopotamia. Storytelling about history was quite popular until the 20th century, but is rarely used nowadays. Ballads were a common way of capturing history during the Middle Ages. They were also used to announce news to kingdoms. An ode was a lyrical poem that glorified an event or person. It was also used in the past to tell stories about victories. Aristotle described three genres of poetry, epic, comic, and tragic. This paved the way for poetry to flourish throughout Europe and the Middle East. However, these three genres were changed by aestheticians, right, I say that, to epic, lyric, and dramatic. The genres of comic and tragic identified by Aristotle were combined into subcategories of the dramatic. 
Modern Western poetry comprises various forms and genres from different cultures and pasts. And now I am in my spread using washi words from Villa Beautiful and those came in the uh, artisan kit. And um, as you can see, I changed my mind about where I wanted one of them to go already. You see, you'll see that I do that um, a little off, a little more often than I'd like is change where I put stickers. But that's okay. Okay, back to the nationaltoday.com. We have the frequently asked questions. There are three. What are the goals of Nat National Poetry Month? This month basically encourage us, encourages us to look upon poetry as a way of expressing feelings and thoughts. The main focus of this month is to create awareness about this less explored genre and to practice poetry in our daily life. Next question is who started it? Inspired by Black History Month and Women's History Month, the Academy of American Poets marked April as the National Poetry Month to turn the attention of the world's of the world towards the art of poetry. How can you celebrate National Poetry Month? Number one, write poetry daily. Set up a routine of writing a piece of poetry each day as a way of celebrating this month. Jot down your feelings and thoughts about different things in a rhythmic manner and voila, you've successfully written a poem. This, on the one hand, acts as a way of commemorating this month and, on the other hand, helps to improve the cognition function of the brain. Number two, poetry event. Arrange a poetry event at your nearby library and perform various activities to create awareness about this less explored genre. This could include a poem competition, a staged act of a poem, exploring different types of poetry, etc. People of any age can take part in this event and express their thoughts and ideas. And the last one is rediscover famous poets. Seek out some epic pieces of poetry and inc by incredible poets who are now almost forgotten. Read and analyze the meaning behind their poems. You can also choose one poet every day and go through their poetry. This will encourage the forgotten joy of poetry. And that's the end of my spread as well. All done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. As always, stay inspired. Bye.